Did anyone feel like their parents' grandparents failed them? Let the down votes come. With inflation, a normal size home cost 500k and above. I highly doubt I'll be able to retire in my lifetime. I felt like we were taught the wrong things such as go to college and work a job for 40 years and retire. I don't think that's possible anymore. I didn't even mention the health problems people get as they get older. My parents are each the loser of their respective families. Ignoring everything they said and did has thus far served me well. Grandparents were never really involved. Us grandkids were just viewed as leeches. Like out parents who were leeches. Boomers just passed on the same rules they were taught by their parents. Rules that worked for generations. Then they blame us. Saying we must have done something wrong because the same rules that worked for them don't work for us. Without realizing that we're not even playing the same game anymore. My parents definitely failed me. They didn't plan for their futures let alone mine. And now they expect me to take care of them when they're older. I'm barely even able to get by. And I doubt my situation will improve. I love my parents but they bought 10 acres of land for 5k. They constantly ask me why if I don't want a house or some land or what I'm doing with my life and why I'm not saving money. Ah uh, because what I make doesn't even cover call. I can't make them understand it. It's going to suck when dad retires and reality hits. One of mom's meds is over 3k per month. Disability and retirement won't cover that. And she won't live long without it. Part of why I got into sex work. So I can cover my own medical bills and then hopefully make enough to start some kind of business. And pay for hers. I hope one day it will be more than just a fantasy. I feel like the issue with boomers is they just won't go away. They had their time and still want to control everything. The generation before them took their shot and when they were done handed it off to boomers and said, alright it's your turn, boomers on the other hand won't let us take our shot. They continue to work towards what they think is best and try to apply principles that are entirely antiquated. Most of them are very out of touch with what the world is today. My grandmother's home she purchased in the 80s for about $70,000 is not selling for close to $500,000. She lost it when one of my uncles stole her identity and took out a bunch of loans. That single act set all of us back in generation wealth by a couple generations. It's not a generation fight, it's a class one. Inflation is caused by corporate greed. Why would you get downvoted, the system is rigged against the younger generations. Yes. But also my parents were undiagnosed autistics so I forgive them. They did the best they could with the resources available to them. I had a slightly different experience. My grandparents told us. 1. You are smart so you must go to college. But only if you major in something like STEM or finance that will lead to a reliable career. Literally after saying what you might like to major in. Their next question would be, and what do you plan to do with it? They would actively campaign against any hint of fine arts saying, but how will you make a living? With that degree? Quote. 2. I was also taught to live frugally. Save often. And plan for my future. IDK my other grandparents were younger and flightier. But the ones who pounded life advice in our skills were children of the Great Depression and generally taught us well even if we hated them telling us things like, it's fine that you enjoy writing, but you can't make a living off that. You're good at math. Why not be an engineer? Yes, they let minimum wage stagnate. Union membership plummet and raid corporate and government coffers to fund this quarter's gains. I'm 44, and watching all this take place since I was born while liberals seeded the field in politics and policy has been infuriating. 
I know I won't retire. All I want is a job I don't hate and that pays me enough to live my life in a way that I enjoy. And here I came to vent about parentification. Neglect and abuse. The whole economy would need an overhaul. Indefinite growth was never realistic. Yes. Because they did. They were the recipients of the benefits of the highest tax rates for top earners which gave them. Elite infrastructure and education. Had a minimum wage that achieved its stated goal of actually allowing someone working full time to survive and thrive and had the strongest labor protections and unions did they count their blessings and resolve to pass on an even better world to their kids no they pulled the ladder up behind them for tax cuts in the hopes that if they licked the boots of the rich that they too would be allowed to become rich most are sadistic greedy ghouls at worst are completely ignorant rubes at best my parents didn't fail me so much as they prepared me for a world that no longer exists. They kept up with the times the best they could but the world has just changed so fast in my life. Almost nothing from my childhood is still valid. My parents and most of my immediate family on my mom's side were, are drug addicts and I never knew. My dad's side, so yeah. Knowing that a large part of how far you can get in life is how much your parents help you start out. I do feel let down. But at the same time, I knew they were drug addicts from a pretty young age and I didn't really do anything to help myself. So I can't put all the blame on them. I decided rebelling and hanging out with my friends was more important than buckling down in school. To better my own chances at getting ahead. Say la vie. Edited for spelling. No but I feel like society failed us. For those same reasons. Grandpa was an alcoholic and grandma would lock her kids. My dad. In the coal cellar tied to a chair. This was after they got interned during WW2. Then my dad was an overly strict perfectionist Bible thumper whose expectations I could never live. Up to. So I have terrible self-esteem and self-confidence and constantly sabotage my own success because I feel like I don't deserve it. Oh and I hate all religions too. So yeah, I'd say they failed. It's true though. There are several reasons for this. The main ones being taxation and neoliberalism. Your parents could do all those things because we had a robust tax system that paid for those things. The 70s really were the turning point in the UK with Thatcher, the old witch, and then forcefully implementing neoliberalism in Chile 73 by US-backed dictator Augusto Pinochet. Since then the goal of every society has been to maximize corporate profits. In fact, it's illegal for a corporation to do good, should it hurt the bottom line in any way, shape or form. So then there's no shock that corporations act cold and heartless. It's literally illegal not to. They exist only to extract profit for the owner class and have no legal obligation whatsoever to do good for their employees. The profits in turn have to increase by a minimum of 3% yearly. Since the goal is to keep inflation rates at a steady 2% the corporation has to increase profits by at least 1% by law. So how do you grow the economy ad infinitum on a planet with finite resources? Well, you can't. And the results of it are seen now. Not to mention that we printed billions upon billions and gave them exclusively to rich people. And they did not turn around and built more homes and created more factories. Instead they bought existing homes in droves which made buying a homes almost impossible for the average person. They bought back their own stocks and hid their newfound wealth in offshore tax havens. And now you are being blamed for it. As always, giving out money was necessary. But even more necessary would have been to tax them so that the money comes back into the system. But the government has but one role in the neoliberal system. To be a money funnel for the ultra-wealthy. 
same as feudalism was. And wage labor is just slavery with extra steps. Democratic workplaces is the only way forward. Or no. My parents and grandparents had nothing either. For some reason people pretend like boomers or all rich homeowners. But they are not. I am richer than my parents ever were. Own a home. Have a good job. And work less hours than my dad did. The current state of the economy is not the fault of boomers. But of rich people. As always. And since they can't pit white people against black people easily anymore. Or straight against queer. They double down on Zoomer against Boomer. But it was always capital against no capital. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.